What's going on YouTube? White Kanye the Great here with another edited video for you guys. Got a very exciting one for you guys. This is probably one of the most broken PvP builds I've played with in a while. If you guys know anything about us, here on the White Kanye channel, we love making builds here on Destiny, but that's not just it. We do real life videos, got a bang in Instagram, and much more to come. We live stream every single day. Haven't missed a single live stream in three years. Love to see you guys stop by and say hi. But back on to the build, because this is really awesome. Not too many people are talking about it. I see a lot of people talking about sun bracers. Almost every YouTuber, when you watch their video, their gameplay in the background, almost every single one of them, pay attention. They're rocking sun bracers. So I didn't really want to make a video on that, as there's already so many out there. But you know what I'm not seeing too much of? The Prometheum Spur builds. This right here in PvP, even PvE, is phenomenal. Not only can you use the Empowering Rift, the Healing Rift, and the Phoenix Dive all in the same match. So, uh, let's go over uh, this build real quick. Uh, I'm rocking the Traveler's Chosen and the BXR55 Battler with Demolitionist and Kill Clip. Now, you guys can rock pretty much any weapons you want, but the reasons I'm using this is the nerf, the special ammo. I get to starve the other team, so they're not picking up special ammo if they do get me. And uh, the battler just got uh, a buff, so that's very nice for this. And the traveler's chosen to get more ability regen. Now, on top of that, uh, the way that these exotics work, I'm going to explain in a moment, you kind of want to be close range. So that's why I'm using the Traveler's Chosen for my close range. And then if I'm stuck outside, we have the Battler. But let's go ahead and read what the Prometheum Spurs do first. It's a very awesome build, guys. All right. So defeating combatants or guardians while Daybreak is active creates a healing and empowering rift at their location so that's when your super is active right so you could just pop like five empowering and healing rifts all on the ground or six or however many dawn blade supers you pop you'll see in a moment i don't even get a single kill with my dawn blade i am new at warlock so do forgive me i'm not the best player but i do know my builds so trust me this is gonna be awesome uh but yeah, so when you pop your super, you're going to uh, get that empowering and healing rift on the location of dead guardians or uh, dead combatants. But there's more. While standing in any rift, solar weapon final blows grant rift energy. So now you're getting rift energy back. When your rift energy is full, final blows. Now this is final blows with any weapon or any ability consume your rift energy and create a healing and empowering rift at the target's location. So this is gonna get pretty cool. So basically, uh, you use solar, you're gonna get uh, rift energy back, right? So I'm using the battler, which is solar, and then when you throw a grenade, the traveler's chosen now becomes solar, right? So uh, basically, how do are you gonna get all three? The Phoenix Dive in there, White Kanye. I see where you're getting the empowering and the healing. What about the Phoenix Dive? So we actually start with the Phoenix Dive. So when you have a full uh, ability uh, rift energy, uh, you can choose to Phoenix Dive. Let's say you're in a, a in a fight and you're gonna lose that and you're in the air. Get out of it. Heal. Go back. Whatever. You know. Uh, waste that rift energy. However, if you're gonna win, get the kill on the Guardian. And then go run over to their their corpse and get that empowering and healing energy. Meaning you're able to run all three with these. So uh, I also have Celestial Fire. The reason uh, it has quite a bit more range than the Snap One. But if you really want the Snap One to build into Scorch, you can. But the reason I like the little extra range on this is I have the uh, Melee Fragment here. Where is it? Uh, powered melee attacks against combatants make you and nearby allies radiant. And yes, it does make you radiant in PvP, even though it says combatants. Yes, that is 100%. I've tested it. So all you have to do is just uh, use the powered melee um, on, you know, another guardian. And now you and your teammates are radiant. So the reason I like Celestial Fire is you can kind of stay back and get that radiant before even putting it in. 
And I'm also using healing grenades. You're going to see in some upcoming footage how helpful these healing grenades are. Uh, as you don't always have a rift available. Let's say you waste it and they're across the map and you can't get to it. Let's say you got a kill with a long range battler, right? Throw one of these on the ground and that will act as a rift. Um, we're rocking Touch of Flame. Your healing solar firebolts and fusion grenades have enhanced function ability. My healing uh, improves strength of cure and restoration. Uh, and then over here, we got Icarus Dash uh, so that we can get in and out uh, a little bit easier. Uh, sadly, we don't have uh, heat rises on. Um, you could, but again, I really like the healing grenades and the improved strength, cure, and restoration. I'm really leaning into that, but you definitely could go with heat. Uh, over here, we have Defeating Scorch Targets Grants Melee Energy. Very important to get that Radiant back. Uh, we already went over this one, uh, Ember of Torches. Uh, this one right here, Ember of Solace. Radiant and Restoration effects applied to you have increased duration now, which again is going to be from your Healing Grenade and, uh, you know, uh, the Powered Melee. All right. And then lastly, your Solar Super Projectiles have stronger target acquisition. You could really throw anyone in here. Uh, that you want um, You know, you can even spec into a little bit more Resilient since that's a little bit more powerful this season with the anti flinch in PvP and of course the damage reduction in PvE uh, If you guys are wondering what the magic numbers in PvE are it would be uh, 50 at the minimum 70 is your goal and of course 100 if you can but again you hunters and warlocks are gonna have a hard time hitting a hundred resilience but all those titans basically are easily going to be able to hit that 70 or a hundred mark but nothing else don't be going 80 or 90 don't be going 60 50 70 or 100 that's for pve though uh if you guys want i can make more builds about that um but yeah i got some footage of us going off here uh me and the mates if you guys like the vibes that we got these are guys that we were playing with every single night uh come on by hang out with us maybe even join us in some crucible or some raids or some dungeons whatever you want to do come on by but make sure you guys are hitting that like button that sub button that join button and notifications on always and i'll see you in the next one damn Damn! Don't fuck me up. See, big boss, she's gotta take notes for Kanye. He's dodged every single one of my. Nah, friends. not everyone. There's been one that I walked around the yeah, corner. Yeah, I haven't gotten. Now nah, you got me with him around the corner. <laughs> I was like, fuck! I was really trying to avoid him. I like this map, it's just super, super, uh... Nice, huh? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Ooh, <laughs> nice! Got me, well, you didn't get me, but you suppressed me. Pretty good. Three minutes. You're in second. Where are we? Damn. Oh 
Roman. Comes in this big boss over here. Crouching? <laughs> Crouching, yeah. Big boy's going around. Ah, oh, oh, I got me. Not very good with that super yet. Oh, that wasn't big boy. That was bigger. Trying to get better with that super. Jeez, the server sucks, man. What? Yeah, you would have got me with the, uh, what's it called? The magic boogie. The boogie boogie. Oh, what maybe it wasn't like this. Yeah, I could have swore. Ah, you got me that time. I used the alternative fire, but it fucking sucks because it like this so slow. One minute left. You're leading. Whoa! Surprise! <laughs> Oh shit, they're catching it. Fuck! There you go. There you go. Keep it up, and victory is yours. 30 seconds left. Your 30 seconds, oh, 15 fuck. to 16. Kanye is in the lead. Fuck you! Ah, had to commit to uh, Saucington. Saucington owns Big Boss. No Big Boss. No Big Boss. You've taken everything. First place goes to you. Nice. Good job. 